Mike Neenaber joins me now. It was a quite a seesaw affair until yeah. the end. You were able to just put together enough of a run to get some separation there at the end. Finally hit a couple of shots there that were, were big. Joe hit a really big three. Um, it, it was similar. The last four or five minutes were similar to what happened the other night. The only difference is the other night we were 10 ahead when we <laughs> did that, so it got to 20. But I knew and I told our guys, and it's, you can talk to your blue in the face, but to convince them that this team was a lot better than we than they than it turned out. And it's like I told you before the game. It wound up twenty four, but the game was a lot closer up there and you know and obviously we were we were out of sync a little bit. I mean we our offense was a little bit unfluid and of course, you know, not making shots. Yeah. It, it, you know, always kinda makes it makes it tougher. But I think the key was we finally started getting the ball to Adam. And, you know, I think our guys got confused a little bit. We talked about we couldn't throw lobs for the most part. Yeah. But once in a while you'd read, we got one through that was in isolation, but they're so quick and long that if you tried to throw a lob pass to Adam like when they were fronting him, there's no way that yeah. there's three guys converging on that and, and they could all go get it higher than Adam. Yeah. So, you know, that was a disaster every time we tried to do that. But there was a lot of times where we, and we finally started doing it, where they, they really weren't stopping us from getting the direct crisp pass yep. to him. And once we started getting it, they were they were a little bit hesitant about doubling down because of the way we shot it there and the way we, we the way we can shoot it. So, you know, who do you leave if you're guarding? Are you going to leave, you're going to tell your guy guarding Joe Larrabee yep. or Luke Rudy to leave their man or, you know, and Slim was, Slim didn't have a great shooting game up there, but he was, he was our hottest yeah, exactly, guy in the yeah. first half tonight. So, you know, there really wasn't any, you know, again, that's the way we're, we're built is that when we throw the ball in there, if you, you leave any of our guys, they can make you pay. So I think they chose to try to, to play Adam and they got, you know, a big kid on him. But the thing is once, once Adam settled down and just made post moves, it's like it was two possessions, one where he got it. And I think he got his third foul after it. he got it in there. He got had the guy buried, mm -hmm. and he and he started to make his move. And he kind of he kind of got out of out of rhythm with it. And he lost his balance a little bit. And he shot a fade yeah. in the lane. And you know, and he was upset because he got his third foul coming off it. But I said, Adam, I said part of that it started. You know, our guards aren't doing a good job stopping penetration. I mean, that's part of what the zone's supposed to keep yeah. from happening so much. But and he wound up fouling because we didn't get it. But part of it was they got a fast break transition because the shot wasn't yeah. a great shot. The next time down, we got it to him in there and it's when he made the classic Kevin McHale yep, right. up and under move. You know, and, and again, it's, it's I tell our guys, you're not going to do something out quicking this yeah. guy. You just got to you got to use the fact that you know he's going to try to contest you, try to block your shot. The next time Adam got it, spun middle, showed showed it up. The guy went up and he got to yeah. the square. So, you know, that so much of it is about keeping balance and there was a couple of times, you know, Brad got that offensive rebound and kind of yeah. you know, kind of hurried it back up. And I'm like, guys, if you got to hurry it like that, just don't shoot it. <laughs> you know, I mean, if you're that concerned, and I understand why he was hurrying it. Yeah. You take an extra half second, you might get it thrown down your throat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But if you're in that situation, just don't shoot it. Yeah. You know, kick it back out and, and, or fake the shot because there's probably going to be, there's at least going to be one guy going up and there's probably going to be two and other people converging at you and then you're going to be able to kick it out to somebody for a wide open three. So game one, you shot 60%. Tonight, you shoot 50%. So if you keep if you keep shooting at those percentages, I like well, your chances. And, and of course, in game one, the key, we, we shot 50 from the from yes. three. But the, the thing was, and again, it was that I thought it was it was the turning point. It was part of what that that final run. It was about Adam making yep. making baskets under the basket. I mean, he you know um, you know he winds up with 14 field goals. And, I, and and the other part of it that we talk about all the time with Adam and all of them, go in there and get those inside points, and those threes will go better. Yeah. You know, early in the game, Adam was flicking threes. I thought too early in the shot clock. And again, you work the offense a little bit longer, and we wind up getting him the ball in the block where he can do what he did at the end yep. of the game and obviously he wound up with a really nice game and it was he, he was a he was the key in that final yep. run and, and and you know like I said Joe I think hit a really big three when we were separating too. 
So now you get to two and zero. You got Lane coming in on Wednesday, you, and then this will be this will be the third game without Jeff Larkin before you right. get him back. And certainly that will be a, a nice addition to have him back. But uh, what do you expect from Lane on on Wednesday? I've heard really good things about Lane. I heard that they we, we got word through the grapevine that they beat UT Martin in a scrimmage. <laughs> so you know that I, I heard they got a guy that they think is borderline you know pro. Uh, you know maybe not NBA, but you know kind of guy that's going to wind up D League or something like that. So we don't know anything. And, it's, and the other thing, it, is it our advantage or disadvantage? It's their first game. So, you know, if they'd been playing in a tournament this weekend, we could see like a lot of teams are doing like we're doing and had two games. We'd at least have something to look yeah. at and something to read. We don't – so we there's a lot of unknown. All we can do is what we did for this preparation. We can look at what they had last year, look at some of their games from last year, match – look at the stats and try to figure out who their better players are. But, you know, in, in Division II, there's always a senior transfer yeah, exactly. or something like that. And, you know, so you just never know until you get out there. Sometimes you have to find out five minutes into the game, hey, that guy's really good. Really good. <laughs> you know, and, and the other thing you can do, and I did it up at Central State while they were shooting around, little number one who didn't play because he, he was late for breakfast this morning. Oh. And, uh, you know, we're like, why isn't he playing? Because he's one of their two best players. Yeah. And he held him out the first half. Yeah. And, you know, but up there we got a little bit out of their media guy they're they're about their website talking about him being a good player yeah. and i'm i'm just sitting there an hour before the game watching their guy shoot and i he kind of caught my eye i thought that guy's pretty good i could just see his shot and his form and so, yeah. you know he's, what he was doing on that I think, and then I'm, and then I put that together with what I, what we knew, and <laughs> yeah. I, when I found out that was number one, I'm like, okay, we got to guard him. Yeah. We got to have a man on him, and we knew about 30 going in, yeah. and, and then we didn't do as good. I didn't think we did nearly as good a job on him tonight. Um, he, fortunately, he he missed some threes that yeah. I felt like our de I felt like our defense broke down, and we didn't get to him because yeah. he's capable. And but but I will say on the positive side about that about him being one for six. When you're really scrambling and making it tough on guys getting shots, and they finally get one, yeah. sometimes they hurry it a yeah. little bit. Yeah. Sometimes you get in their head a little bit, and he's had two bad games against us shooting, and he is a really good yeah. three-point shooter. Of course, he's good. You know, he winds up six for fifteen and winds up with thirteen points because he's just he's solid. Yeah. And, and and that's one of the things I told our guys. So the thing is, this this is a very I think a good solid Division two basketball team. I mean, I think they would be a middle of the pack kind of team in the Gulf South. I think they could compete with anybody um, on a given night. And, you know, I, I, one in 30 could play for anybody in the yeah, league. Absolutely. I mean, they could play for anybody in the league. And then the big kid, 15, is 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 really, you know, he's a nice third option. Yeah, he is. I mean, he can step out. I mean, he, he's kind of like some of our guys, like Adam becomes at times and like Mitch is. You know, he, he kind of likes to get out there and flick yeah. those threes as opposed to going in there because he's so big. But he did some good things inside tonight um, you know so so they got you know they got three or four nice players and then the, the other guys that aren't as much shooters they were making things happen yeah, getting they, to the they, rim and they're finishing very and, quick and getting yeah the I mean the, the barber kid 12 did a lot of nice things so you know and, and Oliver 11 was seven for ten I mean yep. these are the guy these are the guys that were our secondary guards and they were you know they were hurting us all right. Well, we will see you Wednesday night. We're trying to go to three and zero. We will. Sounds good. We don't have a lot of home games before Christmas, so we got to take care of the ones <laughs> that, we got. That's, that's right. Yeah. So take full advantage of them. And uh, again, Lane will be the opponent seven o'clock on Wednesday night. Coach, thanks. All right. Eli, Appreciate thank it. you.